Hi, I'm Dr. Zolex, and I care about your health and your PC's health. Today I received a question from Jimmy in Texas, who thought he might have a virus. <gasps> His symptoms? His computer was shutting down unexpectedly. <gasps> Picture this. Jimmy's typing his resume to get a new job. And bam, his computer shuts down right in the middle of it. Ugh. Now you expect me to say that a virus caused it, right? Wrong! Dr. Zolex does not give automatic diagnosis and automatic opinions without investigating the symptoms and situations first. Not every computer problem is caused by a virus. While computer shutdowns can be caused by a virus, in Jimmy's case, it wasn't. And the solution to his problem is very, very easy, even for the average home user. Yes! What's the solution? It's called compressed air. And it can save you money, save you frustration, and even save you from having to buy a new PC. Who wants to buy a new PC if you don't have the money, especially in this economy? <laughs> Let's take a listen to this older desktop PC here with our trusty stethoscope. And we'll see what's going on with it. Zoom the camera in for me, Jeeves. As you can see, we've got our trusty stethoscope ready. And here's an older PC that's a desktop. I'm going to take a listen and see what's going on inside. It sounds like there's some congestion and dirt in here for sure. My guess is there's probably a lot of dust and dirt and lint clogging up the fans, which in turn make this PC run hotter than it should. What happens is, the PC will shut itself off to prevent any serious damage from occurring. It's sort of like a self-defense mechanism, so it can keep itself alive without serious stuff happening to it that will ruin it outright. Let's get this dirt out of here. Step 1. Purchase a can of compressed air. Here's our compressed air. You can get this anywhere at Staples, any other stores, computer stores will sell it. It's very cheap, costs you about 10 bucks a bottle. It will come with a little straw that we want to put in. Insert straw here, very easy. Next thing we want to do is make sure that we unplug our computer from its power source because we really don't need to get electrocuted while we're doing this. Very important. Step three. Take off the case and then hit it with the compressed air. And I'll show you how. Most of these cases just have a screw on the side. Pull the side off like such. And then we can see the inside of the computer. Now, whatever you do, be sure to turn your face away when you're using the compressed air. Because if it's got a lot of dust in it, it'll blow right back in your face. Right off the bat here, not that the camera can probably show it, but we can see a little bit of a cobweb in here. Now this is very common. Just over time, these PCs will become more and more clogged with dust and dirt, which will lead to the overheating. All we do is take our compressed air, a couple of short bursts, make sure you spray it on the fans, get any fans that are on the outside and the inside, and blow all that dust out and anything you see in there. By doing this, it will allow your fans here to breathe. Just like your lungs, they need air to breathe. These fans need air to keep cool so that they don't overheat and melt, thereby ruining your PC. Okay, much better now, and this PC can breathe easy, thereby extending its life. Uh, feel better now, don't you there, buddy? Yes. Nobody wants to inhale smog all day, and your PC's the same way. This problem usually occurs with older PCs that have never been cleaned out before. So how often do you clean out your faithful PC? It's a good idea to do this at least two times a year with an older PC or more if you have pets, smokers, or anything else that creates extra dust and lint in your home. Also, whatever you do, do not, and I repeat, do not use a vacuum cleaner to do this as it can suck up little pieces of your PC that it may need, especially in here on the board. Very important, do not use it. The last thing you want to do is insert something here where it's going to suck up some parts of your board and crash your system altogether, and it's going to cost you a lot of money. So spend the 10 bucks, use the compressed air, do it the right way, and you'll be much, much happier for it. Yes! Hey, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and leave a comment. And if you like this information and want to learn more ways that can save yourself time, frustration, and money, then go to this website, AskDrZolex.com.